Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be light. From now on, our troubles will be out of sight. Hey guys, and thanks for joining me for another day. So what you're first going to do is you're going to grab a hot glue gun, but like I said, since this is a kid-friendly craft, you can just use regular like tacky glue. Um, I would suggest tacky glue over Elmer's glue because it'll stick a little bit better. You can just find that in the craft section of Walmart. And you're going to put two sticks together here. You're going to create like a teepee shape or I guess, you know, that is a triangle as well. <laughs> and you're going to hold that down to make sure that it sticks. Now I'm using barbecue skewers, but if you have any type of sticks that are thicker than this, I suggest that. And it's kind of just like if you were to draw out a star. So think about all the different points that you're going to have. Now what I'm doing here is I'm just laying it out so I can kind of measure it a little better. And you can move it around and mix it up on how you want it. But you just initially want to start with that original point. And another key point to have is that anywhere that two sticks touch, you want to glue there. Otherwise, it'll be really shaky and loose. So as you can see where those two are, I would just put hot glue there and hold it down so that they stay together. Now before we glue anything together, take two ornament hooks, preferably the wired kind, so that you can easily bend it and just glue it on there. This will get heavy after we have the beads on there, so you can put as many of the little twisty ties on there as you would like. I just needed two, it would work just fine on my tree, but you may need more. And the last and final part to this craft is just taking your beads and hot gluing them down on your sticks. Now I would hold them a little bit longer than I did because I didn't hold them very long and they ended up starting to fall off on the end and I had to re-glue a lot. So just really take your time and press it down on there. And I did paint my star gold because you can see the gold through the clear beads, but that's just because I had clear beads. So if you have like a blue colored tree, you can just buy these little gems in blue or whatever color best fits. I couldn't find the gold so that's why I just went with the clear. But they also had red and a ton of different colors and you can easily find these at the dollar store as well. And then just tie it onto your tree and there you go. Now I didn't add any lights because there are plenty of lights on the top of my tree so that worked just fine for me. And don't forget to come back tomorrow. I've got another fun DIY planned out. And like I said, don't forget to hold those on there. You see those empty spots? You don't want that. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a wonderful day. This is my boy cat, Bubbies. Well, his real name is Smokey, but we call him Bubbies. And he seriously just sleeps all day. Like, I rarely see him awake. <laughs> He's normally sleeping on the couch here. This is his favorite spot.